Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn that how to set password on user mode and privilege mode. If you remember, then Cisco IOs uh, we discussed in some video that Cisco IOs has different modes of operation. One is user mode, privilege mode, and the third one is global configuration mode. So in today's video, we are going to learn that how to set password on user mode and privilege mode. So the reason is to illustrate the idea, let's suppose that we have a switch somewhere in our office, in our university, wherever we are. So we have a switch and it has it has got some problem, but we are not there. We are somewhere else, maybe at our home. And now we want to access our switch by sitting uh, at, uh, remotely. So is there any way to access the switch when we are at some distance? And the answer is yes. We can access the switch remotely. So in our previous video, we learned that we can access the switch or the iOS of the switch using console port. So this is the switch and we can access it via console port. So specially designed port is there. We connect our cable and we can access the iOS of the switch. To access the iOS means we want to configure it. We want to use the switch. And we also have an option to access to access the IOS of the switch remotely, and those methods are Telnet and SSH. SSH stands for Secure Share. So these are two methods by which we can remotely access our switch. So if a user wants to access from anywhere using Telnet or SSH, we want to set the password here. So what specifically we want when the user is coming and uh, uh, he tr he tries to access the uh, IOS, then the switch should ask, or the sh switch should prompt for some password for some security reason, so that only authorized user can access the switch, and only authorized user can configure the switch. This is this is what we want. So they should be prompted for the password, and if if the user has the password, then after giving the password, the switch should allow them to the enable. Are, are the user mode. And if the user has already accessed the user mode, and if the user wants to transfer, or if the user wants to move from the user mode to the privilege mode, which is even more the stronger mode of operation of the switch, then again we want the switch to ask for the password. So that again only the authorized user can access the switch, or can access the IOs of the switch. This is what we want. So for that, what can we do? Let's discuss the command for that. So first, this is we have already discussed, sorry, this is something we already discussed in some of the video that how to uh, set the password on the console part of the switch. So what we need to do, you can see here, this is the global configuration mode. We go to the global configuration mode and then line console zero, password, and login. So with this, set of commands we can set a password on console port of a switch. So we discussed in somewhere in the video. Today we want a password on the telnet connection or on the VTY line. So this is exactly same. The first line of command which is in global configuration mode, we will write line VTY 0 to 15. So it means with this VTY stands for virtual terminal. So with this line of command, we want to move to the line interface mode. So you can see this is the line and then set the password. So you can set any password there and then log in. So by this, we would have set a password on the switch whenever user access from anywhere using Telnet. Whenever user wants to access the switch remotely. So let's do that. So packet tracer with us and let's take a switch from here so this is a switch click it cli and wait for so a few moments so the switch starts and uh, then press enter so you can see at the moment switch didn't ask for any password and we are easily in the user mode and if you want to go to 
privilege mode, then just type enable and we are in privilege mode. So there's no password. So we want to set a password there. So if you remember what we did, we need to go to con uh, global configuration mode. So just config T, we are in the global configuration mode. So this is the sign indication for that. And in global configuration mode, we can set the, uh, for console, for example, for console, we just say line console zero. So we are in line interface mode and then set the password. Password, maybe newbie, and then login. So with this, we have set a password on the console port only, okay? And if we want to set the password, for example, go exit. If you want to set the password on the uh, telnet connection to the switch, then line VTY 0 to 15. And then password, you can give any password, but I'm going to repeat the same password, newbie. And then yes, login. So we have set the password on the console port as well as on virtual terminals, our VTY line, line VTY, okay? So I want to verify for example this, control Z and yes, enter and again exit. So now we want to access the same switch, press enter. But switch is not going to allow us to enter or to access the CLI or command line interface of the switch, and it is asking for uh, asking for the password. So it means now only the authorized user who have the password can access the switch. So give the password. If you remember, that was newbie. Enter. Okay. So this is this is how we have set the password on the. Uh, on the to access the user mode of the of the switch. So now after this, if a user is going to access the switch using console port, or if the user is going to access the switch remotely, in both of the cases, the user will be asked to provide a password. And if the password is, has been provided, then he or she can access the command line interface of the switch and they can configure it. Okay, but still, if you want to go to more privilege mode or the privilege mode of the iOS, Cisco iOS, then we are allowed to enter in the privilege mode. We want to restrict this access as well. And for the same thing, so we want to see this command, what we have to do. Just to show you, we have to go to the global configuration mode. And just in the global configuration mode, we have to use this command, enable secret, and this is the password. So what we do, we go to privilege mode, then global configuration mode. So config T, we are in the global configuration mode. Then just we have to use the command that was enable secret and any password you want. So I'm going to give new B. So that's there. Now it means that this command we have a we have set a password for the user to enter from the user mode to the privilege mode as well. So let's check it. So control Z, exit, so we exit from this uh, uh, iOS. And now to again enter, press enter. So you can see to enter in the user mode, we have been prompted to provide the password. So give the password. We are in the uh, user mode after providing the password. Now if you want to move to the privilege mode, then type E N A B L E enable, but the switch is asking for us for password to enter in the, the privilege mode. So give the password and E W B I E. So password is there. Now you can see we, we have been entered in the privilege mode. So now we have set the password. So whenever user, so wherever a user is. If the user wants to access the user mode as well as the privilege mode, the user has to provide the password to the switch to access the iOS of the switch. It means we have set the password on the, on the switch, 
So if the user wants to access from this console port or if the user wants to access the IOS of the switch remotely using Telnet, in both of the cases, the user will be asked for the password to enter in this user mode. So you remember, I hope that you remember the prompt for that. To enter in the user mode and from user mode to the privilege mode, in both of the cases, user has to provide the password to access the IOS of the switch. So this was very important uh, topic in, in networking at Cisco. And I hope it was clear. Somehow we will discuss more about this in the next video. But for today, this is it. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your time.